Hello again, and let's continue my adventures in the lands of whatever, in the caves of Cud. But I'm not yet in the caves of Cud, so um, let's just continue the adventures of Max, the uh, level 6 true man. So, let's keep going. And, uh... Yeah, game is loaded and I'm ready to go. Max is ready to go. So, uh, yes, I have explored a few levels of um, this first entry dungeon where our first quest has sent us. And I'm just going to keep going for a bit and see how it's going. I'm quenched and bloated. I've eaten a little bit too much. Hopefully this won't deter us in combat. Actually, um, in this game you don't have to manually eat and drink. That just happens automatically, I think. So um, that's apparently the reason why Max is currently completely bloated and full of food. A little bit disgusting. But, oh well. Let's head down and see what awaits us here. Some dread roots. I'm just going to chomp them down because it's not very a lead slug, okay? Somewhere has been and a shotgun shell. Some people have been shooting guns down here apparently. That is actually not something that I like, that I particularly enjoy. Especially since I myself don't have any guns. That is a beetle bum. That thing is not very dangerous. I'm just going to keep that here. And I'm kind of killing plants all the time. Salty water. Oh, so there is a kind of. Ah, yeah, there is a kind of a river down here. I think if we were to take the underground passage to uh, to Red Rock, we would have been going along this river, I believe. Oh, and we found the critters. What do we have here? A Gershling and a glow white cultist of Argolgut. That is kind of interesting and not very good because I take a lot of damage. I killed the Gershling, but and I killed the cultist. Whew. Okay, so let's pick up the Gershling corpse and let's rest for a little bit. Hopefully nothing comes. No, nothing comes. Yes, I have the Gershling corpse, and um, yeah, that is our quest. But I'm going to explore a little bit further here. So, um, what is that? Hey, 21 drams of fresh water. That is nice. Yeah, I think the river stops here, and there's another Gershling. And we can just and not water vines, okay. We can just um, keep killing them because they actually give us quite a bit of experience points. Let's see, I'm just going to keep going and explore this level a little bit. Oh, almost, almost got killed by jilted lovers. Well, that was, that would have been an uh, Anti-climax, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would ha wouldn't have been good. Oh, and another Gershling. Kill it. Okay. Fortunately, we only need one of these corpses, so... But I have to be rather careful here, because... It can be... The shale... Oh, I, uh, I have been hitting the wall. I have to be careful there. 
this seems to be a surefire way to get rid of your wonderful battle axe. Okay, now let's just keep going. I'm going to explore the rest of this. Destroy the dread roots, not because of uh, the experience points, which are one experience point is not much, but that will actually. I don't want to get some nasty status effects while I'm fighting enemies. Okay, another shotgun shell. Oh, what was that? What kind of zone was. Why was there building zone stuff? That is weird. I don't exactly know what that was. Hmm. And more drams of fresh water. Great, great, great. I definitely like that. Okay. More lead slugs. Quite a bit of ammunition there. But I don't think there's actually someone here who shoots that stuff. Just some seed-spitting vines and other nasty things. But, well, not really anything interesting here. Some dread roots, yeah. Okay. Now. That was everything here. I could try and take the um the what the the underground way yes i could try and do that i'm going to just going to try and do that and see oh there is some stuff some scavengers snapjaw bear beta i haven't seen one of those before let's look uh, it's injured i have to be careful not to get myself killed here okay a kilted shawl i'm going to get that that cookery I'm also going to get, and a copper nugget. All right. All right. Yes, I have to be very careful here. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, more snap jaws. Yes, more snap jaws. Whew, and a lot of stuff lying around here. Um, nothing particularly interesting. It's going to wait for a bit and uh, regenerate some of my HP. And uh, yeah, okay. More snap jaws. Doesn't even give me many experience points anymore. Well, but there is a chest. Let's open that. Crocosins. As opposed to moccasins, I believe. Let's take a look at them. A well-worn pair of leather boots. What do I actually have on my feet? Leather moccasins. So, um, the crocosins are actually better. So, let's just put them on. Okay. And explore for a little bit. No. Yes. What's then? Uh, what is a worn burnous? Burnous. Some kind of armor, but well, I am not interested in that. That didn't seem very. I killed a giant centipede there. More giant centipedes. Snap jaws and more snap jaws. Nope. A sturdy bronze battle axe. I'm just going to get that because it's sturdy. It's always nice. Another giant amoeba. Let's just create a big old mess again here. Snap jaws. Okay. A counterweighted bronze longsword. Plus one to hit. Oh, that's actually kind of kind of cool. Maybe we'll get a good price for that. And crocosins. Hmm, that's actually quite a bit of 
the looty loot down here. That's another warlord. Okay. Everything, everything's easy. Giant centipedes. Okay. Everything's easy. Hey, I just got critically hit by this snapjaw hunter. Whoa. I must be careful not to get careless, which was kind of a uh, redundant sentence, right? But, um, but oh well. That's what I need to do. Even though the enemies are not very dangerous around here, you can still get yourself killed pretty easily. More snap jaws. Big old pool of slime. That's actually kind of kind of cool that we're taking the underground path because it's quite a bit of enemy activity here and uh, that's actually great because of exactly that I've leveled up again even though they really don't net me many experience points but yeah so let's take a look at our skills I mean I could learn endurance could also learn self-discipline during each round in which you meditate you reg regenerate at thrice the normal rate okay three rounds for the burn of counting down the duration of negative status effects that's actually pretty cool um what is lionheart okay wayfaring skilled at wilderness survival Hmm, that's also interesting. That's actually pretty good. Yes, I have wilderness lore jungles. Acrobatics. Um, ba -ba -ba, how can I... Uh, expand. Six. Swift reflexes. Okay. Spry. Jump. Okay, and those are active skills, actually. Um, collapse again. Bows and rifles. Hmm. Steady hands. No. I'm just going to keep going for the time being. I also don't have any any attribute pro points, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going for the time being. Nothing too interesting here. Just wade through the water. And am I back out again? What is that? A null worm. A massive muscular worm. Well, I think I'm not back out again. I'm still in... Uh, in... Still in the caves, but it's kind of different here. Massive... An eyeless crab. Okay, there are some enemies I've never seen before. Careful here. Okay. I just crab legs. I'm butchering those things like like nothing. And I made no worm jerky. I I don't even want to know how that tastes. Okay. Uh yeah, let's just explore a little bit. That's quite a big cavern here. Just wait for a moment. Taking a sip of fresh water. I'm not exactly sure where I am. I think I'm still in the caves, but um, I don't actually know. What is that? An electrofuge. The tiny hairs of this dog-sized spider ugh, stick straight up and crackle with electrical energy. W weird things. Going on here. Oh, 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 It's going in the water. I'm just going to make a run for it for the time being. Whew. That's kind of dangerous down there. Maybe I will go back the boring way for now. But I kind of 
Oh, I slipped on the slime. Whoops. Um, and I think I will come back there, actually. That was kind of intriguing. Okay, now. Stairs up. And I think one more. Well, for for a beginner character, that would actually be quite a dangerous route, wouldn't it? So I think you're better off just walking, walking along the wilderness, wa walking through the wilderness, along the wilderness. I'm talking rubbish again. It's very late in the evening, and I'm kind of tired, but I wanted to record a video. So here I am. So let's see. I'm going to get rid of all my rubbish here. Um, ah, and he restocked apparently. Here's some other stuff. Copper nuggets. Oh, that's interesting. Hey. 25 drams of wine. That's interesting, actually. Some torches, star apples, vine wafers, raw bear meat. Ah, okay. That's that's good to know that they actually restock, but uh, he doesn't have much money. But he has those uh, copper nuggets, so I think we can trade. Bark armor. Nope, I don't need that. Um, I'm going to sell the crocosins. Frowning moon mask. I'm going to keep those things. Started leather armor. And had woven tunic. Kilted shawl, no. Leather moccasins, which would. I'm going to keep that for the time being. Mm, the Gershlin corpse, I still need that. A lot of food, I still. I will also keep that. Um, okay, let's see. Battle axe, two handed sword. One hand axe, slender bronze dagger, steel battle axe, I will keep that, steel cookery, I will sell those. Short sword, warhammer, sturdy bronze battle axe, sturdy slender iron battle axe. I will keep the iron battle axe, I will sell those. A burnt capacitor, where do I have that from? Hmm. A wooden buckler, I will sell. And yeah, that's it. Okay, now. Um, let's see. What could I get? Spectacles. Quite expensive spectacles there. Ray bands or what? Okay, I'm going to buy those. Those and the wine is quite tempting, but um, I could buy a musket actually. I have quite a bit of ammunition. I think uh, the slugs go in the musket. You know what? I'm going to buy the musket and uh, get some more slugs. Okay, and then let's offer it and. Trade complete. Nice. Okay, now let's just talk with him. Live and drink, friend. Have you tidings from Red Rock? Yes, I found bits of Nord water vine and slew a white spiderling. I carry its corpse with me. <laughs> what a hideous thing. I dread the horrors its present portends. Portents. Bring the corpse to Elder Irodad's hut for... I'm really... It's really not my day. Bring the corpse to Elder Irodad's hut for the Elder to examine. As you say. Alright. Then let's talk to you. Live and drink, Wayfarer. Welcome to the... O okay, that we have heard before. Ah, uh, return from Red Rock with the corpse of a pale spiderling. Elder, would you examine it? Yes, please. This is troubling. It is as I feared, Gershlings. There was a ra rabid, black-robed man among the Gershlings. A, a glow white, no doubt. Those maniacal fools worship the Gersh as gods. What are the Gersh? 
Ancient demons, as old as Kull itself, they embody the essence of the poison that is spread throughout the land. Once they crawled Kull's surface, but a thousand years ago something drove them deep beneath, beneath the earth. Now they roost in the nethers of Kull's vastest and darkest, darkest caverns. <laughs> and the Gershlings? Gershlings are spawn of the Gersh. They are twisted creatures of every ilk. The Glow Whites consume their corpses in order to reshape themselves in the images of the Gersh demons. Those seem to be nice people. Really nice people. Where did the Gersh come from? They are spawned from one they are spawned from one older still. The Gersh mother You see it right there. Gersh mother Tukluktu. Whatever. According to the wisdom of my father and his father before him, she lies sleeping somewhere within the buried temple of Mora. No one knows whence she came. Perhaps she is indeed some wretched goddess come from beyond the stars to slumber on our world. One moment. I have to take a sip of fresh water here. Um, why were you so troubled before? <laughs> some ancient god thing. Why would you troubled? Why would you be troubled? Gershlings have not been sighted on the surface for centuries. I fear something nefarious. I fear something nefarious is astir. is astir. Your discovery will prove invaluable to us, Wayfarer. How be it? We are but penurious moisture farmers. There is little we can do apart from sharpen our vine reapers. From sharpen our vine reapers. There may be others outside of Joppa, however, who are able to do more. As for your revo reward, take those, these prickly boons. Whatever those are. I will not soon forget your service. Live and drink, friend. Live and drink. That netted us 750 experience points, and that is nice. And an Uber Nostrum injector. Weird artifact, self-injector, self-injector, and three self-injectors. I think... The self-injectors are actually uh, healing things, so they are basically healing potions. Man, I got a lot of stuff. And weird artifact, let's just examine that. It's fix-it spray foam. What does that do? Surgeon Heckman's warning, do not use on human hearts. Interesting. I don't actually know what we can do with that. Okay, now we have done that, and um, I'm going to. No, that I didn't want to do. Okay, so for now, I only have one other quest, and that is to go here. Those things here are the rust wells, I believe. And there we can get the copper wire that we need. Um, up there is red rock again, and there's something. I'm not exactly sure what all those symbols mean, but uh, we are going to explore. What are, um, my plans for now are to um, explore the wilderness a little bit further and go here and uh, level level up a bit more and um, explore. Yeah, or explore around here for the time being, um, because I'm a little bit scared to go further. So. Yeah, that's it. Um, but I think I'm doing well for now. That is, Max is doing well for now. So um, that will be it for today. And uh, I see you next time. And we are going to continue Max's journey through the wilderness of Cud. Goodbye.